Hey, it's Gus Wagner from the Rocket Group here, and just thought I'd take a minute out to talk about something timely. Take some time out here on my weekend, actually, to, to talk about something that's timely as we film this here in October of 2014, and that's political direct mail. Uh, let's take a look and see what's in the mailbox here. It's all kinds of... You run the risk when you're filming outside of traffic and other sort of noises in, in nature. Uh, here's a, well, here's a card from a uh, Discover card. We'll put that back in there for the second. But the rest is a stack, and I swear this was not uh, staged, but a stack of political direct mail. And I'm surprised at the quantity that's in here for a local election, local election, local election, local. These are all look like they're for local elections. Two things. Uh, come to mind right here as soon as I open up the mailbox. One, it seems that the popular size for direct mail this year is the six-ish inches wide by 11 inches long uh, postcard. And you know what? If you can see this just by me holding this up, I've got one, two, three, four, five of these in the mail one day that are all the same size. And what does that do? It makes them all stack together. So if you're going to be doing direct mail, you want to go with an off-size. There's two more pieces here. Holy crap, seven pieces of mail in one day. Must be getting close to election day. But these are full-size or a little bit larger direct mail pieces, and they stood out from the stack of mail. When you're doing direct mail, you've got about, you know, it used to be about 15 seconds from the distance from the mailbox to somebody's front door to grab their attention. These days, it's even less than that. Because um, most people aren't collecting their mail every day, for one. Uh, two, uh, you'll see how this stacks up with the larger images in the back, the larger pieces in the back, so these pieces are more likely to be read than the ones in the middle of this. This is wasted money, is what this is. If everybody else is doing six by 11s, then you need to go to a different size that stacks up higher than the six inch wide piece if you're gonna actually have a better chance of getting your piece read during the direct mail season. The second thing I'm gonna talk about here with political direct mail, and I won't go into what each one of these is about, but my God, it's getting nasty. This is just ridiculous. And I've run, I've been involved in more than 400 elections from the president's office, president's reelect, and original election of uh, President Bush in 2000, 2004, on down to local races at the city council level uh, and county races below uh, commissioner uh, across the country, across the state, here in Missouri, et cetera. This, this, this rhetoric, this hate, that consultants and candidates and candidates' families are agreeing to at local elections is ridiculous. Here's the thing, consultants, and I'm going to talk directly to the camera here. Here's the thing, is that you are going to get paid win, lose, or draw. Maybe you're going to get paid if you're smart enough to figure out how to do that. Uh, you're going to win, lose, or draw come election day, and then you're going to skedaddle off to your offices wherever they may be across the country. Well, the candidate that you've left behind, who has won, who has lost, or has come to a draw in that election, has run, who followed your scorched earth policy against another one of their neighbors. Well, those two people still have to live in this neighborhood. So what I'm saying here, what I'm suggesting here, is this negative stuff is turning people off. I know it works. I know whatever. We're causing differences or casting, casting the, the, showing the, highlighting the differences between the two candidates, what have you. It's ridiculous. It's 2014. Let's act like adults. Let's quit the scorched earth nonsense and actually have a conversation on the issues. And I think you'll be surprised how many more people turn out in your categories and your key demographics to support your candidates uh, and get you over that win, defeat the opposition, or come to a draw, whatever that is. So I'm Gus Wagner. I own the Rocket Group. Let's all work together. And uh, if you want to win, follow these tips for direct mail success come political campaign season. Thanks a lot.